Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Carter James Ranch on a brisk October Monday morning. Uh, I had to skip out of town over the weekend real quick. Head back to my hometown of Parker, Colorado. Went back for my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. So, quick trip. Had to get back. Had some people watching over the ranch, but as you know, you're always interested to get back to your animals and make sure everything is good to go. Um, yeah, really great to always go back home, see my mom and dad, saw a lot of people that I grew up with, parents of friends, yeah, just really, really good. One cool thing, got to talk to so many people that actually follow the channel, and it was uh, quite, quite, uh, I was kind of shocked by that. So many people knew, were asking about Honey and Coda and Indy and Mac, so that was, that was really awesome to, to see that um, so many people knew about it, and that people people follow it because sometimes when you're doing this sometimes it's easy to lose perspective on why you're doing it I've said all along I've been doing this just to document the process and it's easy to get caught up on oh I wish the channel would be growing more but that's not important it's important that you know you're providing things that other people are interested in just documenting what you're doing so coming back really motivated to just keep showing everyone what what ranching is like you know what, what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis and keep growing the, the animal herds and, and flocks and just keep doing our same thing. So thanks a lot for that, everyone. So this morning, kind of brisk. Here we are October 9th. I think it's the 9th here on Monday. So we're going to actually let the South Poles do a little yard mowing up here. Still in a really bad drought, everyone. Um, no rain. Supposed to get some rain this Friday. Boy, we need it. I'm going to try to get the cattle over here so they can uh, graze some of this grass by us some time. Another thing that's come up, behind the ranch here, the city of Paola actually owns some small acreage. And I know they've been looking to sell it for a while and now they're looking to put it out to bid. So we're gonna be looking into that. Don't know if it's something we should be doing, praying about it, asking God if we should put a bid in or on that or not. So just kind of chewing on that. It's, it's not a ton, I think it's, I don't know, seven or 10 acres. Uh, but it would give me a little more options. There's lots of trees back there So that'd be a lot of work to to clear it to make it usable. It's not really usable right now So we'll need to evaluate if that's worth our time But I was gonna try to let the cattle in here do that show you a little update on on Bell and Bree So let me see if I can get them heading this way All right, got you flipped around here. Come on There's Pepe yeah, beautiful morning this morning little brisk I did see that looks like a couple of our little South Pole calves I'm not sure if it's Bell and Bree it looks like they got on the other side of the hot wire that's one thing about these South Poles they're so small and these guys are growing out but it's easy for them to duck under yeah easy for them to duck under the hot wire and since we've been so dry also yeah see there across the hot wire there yeah those are the, the calves and Bell and Bree are way out there okay let's go hey come on but I was going to say, they get used to hopping underneath it. Now, because we're in a drought, our solar chargers, if the ground gets too dry, the grounding rod doesn't work. So we constantly have to keep putting moisture on it so it'll stay. Uh, it'll be grounding electricity. Come on, let's go. Come on, Pepe. There's Pepe, our South Pole Longhorn. One thing I've been surprised at, we still have quite a bit of horn flies hassling the cattle on their backs. So... I know once we get our first freeze, that'll start to go away. Let's go! Can you see how good this grass is in here? I haven't mowed this in who knows how long. I know the last time I had them graze it a while ago. So I, I put a hot wire around the house, the farmhouse. They can walk around the bunkhouse, but I figured this will entertain them for a while. our steers well, don't run too fast oh my gosh just walking right through the water you wonder how water gets dirty 4907 what are you doing walk around so Bell and Bree I'm kind of losing track of time we uh, introduced Bell and Bree I think boy about about two 
Well, look at that sun. About two weeks ago, I can hear, I can hear them. Bells bawling at me here. Interesting, about two weeks ago, and I think they're getting along just fine. Um, if you ask me if I've said they've integrated into the herd, I don't know. I think the herd accepts them, but they kind of tend to kind of hang off on their own quite a bit. They seem to be pretty content with just being by each other. They're cute. They're doing well. I've also noticed I can still walk up and pet them. Um, but now they're kind of in a bigger area, kind of part of the big herd. I guess I could say they're a little less friendly, but there's times where they walk up, I'll be petting Bree and Bella will walk up and just put her head right into my leg. So that's okay. I mean, that's what needs to happen. They need to become part of the herd. They're still super friendly, but they need to learn how to be, be cows and, oh, you're okay. Don't get spooked. No big deal. The bell's just walking up here. So let me walk out here. So one, one change that, uh, one piece of equipment we, we bought, we actually bought an inline hay trailer. Got to buy some more hay, got to haul it. That's one thing with these large bales of hay, you got to have a way to move it. You can hire that out. I realized that that was my initial plan to hire people out. Hey, Bree. See, like before, she would never do that when she was in the sheep pasture, and I'm okay with it. Let's see what Belle does. Belle, come on. Um, I was going to hire it out, but sometimes it's hard to get people's schedules and they're, they don't know when they're going to do it. So I just decided that it'd be better if I could control when I'm going to haul some hay. So just another thing in ranching. You got to spend a few bucks on. Let's see here. Okay, there's baby. There's, the th there's number 30. That's 30's calf. And look who we got here. Little Belle. These two little calves. These guys. Hey, hey girl. You ever standing right in the sun? People can't see you. How you doing, sweetie? She's a little confused. She's like, I want to go over where those other little calves are. Hey, come on, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, she's a she's a sweetie. So again, if you're new to the channel, Belle, she was my first bottle calf. Got her out of Missouri, out of off a bigger ranch. I'll try to get them over here. But this weekend when I left, it's the first time. Hey, go on. It's the first time I've been away in the last year and a half. I've only, only gone for two and a half days, but had my neighbor keeping uh, watch over the the stuff at the home place. Left, left the South Poles here, got a bunch of um, bins of water filled up, and they were good. I got back yesterday, and they were low, but they still had water. The smaller ones weren't able to get all the way down there, but they probably just weren't able to get down there for about a half day. So, but Belle and Bree tend to hang off by themselves a little bit, so they're kind of they're kind of loners, I guess. But that's expected. They're not used to being, um, you know, part of a herd. Let's walk over here and see if I can't get these guys. Hey, what are you doing? So this is number sixty. He's a steer, and number ninety-six. She's our only South Pole heifer we had this year. Hey guys. Hey, let's get going. Let's go back to your mamas and move. Yeah, these guys always tend to get under the fence. Go on. Come on. I'm not sure how they do it or if it's not charging right. Yeah, watch. They'll just skip right underneath it, I bet. Yeah, see? She just goes right underneath. There they go. So, I kind of like it when they can get a little bit bigger. So, they might not be as motivated to do that. But going back to, yeah, got the inline trailer. Just want to be able to control the process when I can go get hay. Although it does take me more time having to coordinate that, but that's just part of part of what it is. So, Bill and Bree doing well, getting back to the ranch, the chores, knowing what's going on, trying to manage the grass here in the drought. But it's good. Also, I was excited. I had some folks in Colorado that wanted to order some beef from us, so that's exciting. People like what we're doing with the grass finished South Pole cattle. Taking our first Wagyu in here in about, about uh, well, three weeks from tomorrow. No, two weeks from tomorrow. So, like I've said before a million times, hate, hate taking them in, but um, I'm real interested to see how, how he finishes out. 
we did finish them all on grass. So I know most people don't do that with Wagyu. They want to get the real, they want to get a lot, a lot of fat, intermuscular. So I'm curious to see how, how he finishes out. It's kind of a project for me. So that's kind of the update on Bell and Bree from over here at the Carter James. Indy and Mac are two newest guardian puppies. They are integrating well, lots of energy. Really bonded well with Coda and Honey. Um, getting along well there, which is great. I was a little nervous about that, but Honey's really calmed down, and but she she still she still rule, rules the rules the roost. And they've been doing well with the sheep. Only saw Indy kind of hasn't chased the sheep. Kind of acts like she wants to play with them. I think it's innocent, so you got to watch that a little bit. But yeah, here's that inline trailer I was just mentioning a few minutes ago. It'll hold six bales of hay, six big round bales. I got hooked up to the truck, got the tractor with the bale spear. So, like I said in the previous video, I don't, lo I don't love tractor work, but it's kind of a necessary evil when you're in this stuff. So, so that's the update from the ranch. So, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Great to be back. Great to get away. See my folks, see a lot of old friends, meet some new people. But here we are back in Kansas. Over here at the Carter James Ranch. So God bless you guys. Have a great week and we'll see you on the next video.